Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be patching inside of Thorn, and we're going to be making this sort of airy bell pluck thing. And I've just got it on top of this little track right here you probably heard in the beginning. It's just to add a little bit of upper frequency, build a little bit of anticipation, as you can see right here by the, the MIDI name. Uh, but it's actually super simple to make inside of Thorn, so that's what we're gonna do today. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, Control Shift T to add a MIDI track, take this MIDI, drop it in here. Probably drag all of this MIDI. Let's take all that MIDI. Hold Control to copy it, let's track Thorn on the track, solo it, and get started. So that's fun. We can go mono for this, not a big deal. Let's tune it to zero. Oh. Sounds cool. Uh, for the oscillator one, we're just gonna come in and choose, oh, close that, choose the very basic triangle. And we're almost there, right? We don't need the harmonic filter. I like to turn modules off that I'm not using, just so one, I know visually that I'm not using them, and two, it usually saves on CPU, so. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna knock it down right there. Next up, we got the filter. So I'm gonna turn it on. First of all, it's off right here. And you can see that this oscillator is going to filter one because it's on right there. We could go to both if we wanted to or just two. Not a big deal, gonna leave it on filter one. Right now, the filter is off, but what I wanna do is a clean low pass. Uh, and you'll notice that it's actually getting controlled by the envelope. So I wanna come down here to envelope one, turn down the sustain. That's cool, we can turn up the volume. And let's send it more to the envelope. Turn down the volume after that. Let's turn up the drive. That's pretty cool, right? And really that's it besides effects. Let's jump into the effects and see if we can't make it happen. I'm gonna turn on distortion, hyperbolic. Maybe turn down the drive. Just a little bit. And let's jump into the chorus. Sync it one to one, perfect. Turn down the mix just a tad. That sounds good. Uh, let's turn on some delay. That actually sounds pretty good already, but we can control the... Let's go... I want it to be a little bit closer, you know what I'm saying? Let's go... And let's go for reverb. Let's go for plate. Turn it way down, but turn that size way up. You know, that way the mix is way down, but it's really just adding like a, a nonstop kind of reverb there to really make it sound spacious. And let's see how close we are to the original. Ooh, we got some work to do. So the velocity is just gonna be um, inside of the MIDI clip here. I've got some velocity changes happening. So this is just gonna track that and add it to the envelope. What happens if we pull this up an octave? I actually might wanna leave it down an octave. Let's see what that sounds like with the track. Maybe. We 
can also add key tracking as a whole to the filter. All right, so that's pretty close to the original sound there. I just got to decide whether or not I like an octave down or not. That sounds pretty cool. It sounds like the original. And we're good to go. So that's what I set out to show you, how easy it is to get that sort of bell plucky sound and, you know, show it inside of a context of a track. Uh, I think it works really well. And uh, I'll let it ring out one more time. And I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.